Today is our final day of our 2022 year in review. KCAU 9 News reporter Jason Taktagian has more now on the last big headlines of the year. It's the final day of our 2022 year in review and we begin in the first week of December when Wells Enterprises announced it was being acquired by the Ferrero Group. A century of Siouxland business is coming to an end. Wells began back in 1913 and has since molded Lamar's into the ice cream capital of the world, debuting the famous Blue Bunny ice cream line. Ferrero distributes sweet packaged foods globally, including brands like Nutella, Kinder, Tic Tac, and Ferrero Rocher. After the transaction closes, current CEO and Chief Engagement Officer Mike Wells will serve as an advisor during the transaction, while current Wells President Liam Killen will be named the new Chief Executive Officer. All other existing leadership will remain in place. It's been a privilege and an honor to represent for my family uh, and to go out and find the right solution that um, protects employment and, uh, and provides a, a great future for this business uh, that doesn't uh, necessarily require the family, you know, the Wells family's involvement going forward. And the news of the acquisition was well received by some employees. Um, he was just welcoming and happy to be a part of the Blue Bunny crew. Some people were shocked and then it was actually beautiful. Everybody was welcoming to it. Everybody is welcome. We actually need employees, so all is welcome. The Wells sale to Ferrero Group is expected to close early in 2023. Just weeks before the holidays, dozens of Siouxlanders were left without a home. On December 8th, Sioux City Fire Rescue were called to a structure fire at the Ida Apartments on 1901 Pierce Street. In total, a half dozen fire crews spent more than eight hours fighting the flames and smoke that originated in the attic. Ultimately, the roof was burned completely, and a day later, the building was red tagged. Now we ain't got no place to live. I lost everything in my apartment, all my Christmas gifts, I lost everything. Can't go I lost get my, my kids stuff too. I lost everything. I'm talking about I got like at least $10,000 worth of stuff up in there, man. The building's 38 tenants were evacuated and spent the night at nearby First Methodist Church. The victims lost everything to fire and water damage. There's a lot of processing happening still. So right now it's 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 hard to say exactly how that's going to end up affecting them on a personal level, but in a disaster like this, uh, it it does change people and it does affect them. Woodbury County Emergency Management partnered with agencies to provide clothes and food for victims. That will do it for our 2022 Year in Review. If you'd like to catch up on this year's Year in Review countdown, make sure to head over to our website, that's sulamproud.com, and click on the Featured Content tab. Jason Taktagian, KCA Unite News. Thanks so much, Jason.